everybody, it's Amy from Yo So Boho. Welcome back to my channel and a Thursday night thrift adventure. Tonight I'm actually shopping with my mom and we are at a brand new Goodwill. Actually, it's not a brand new Goodwill, but it's a Goodwill that's brand new to me. So, and it's not that far away. It's like I keep discovering these places. How wonderful, right? This is exciting because I wasn't sure what to expect as far as pricing and inventory and all of that. So it's going to be a good trip. Before we do that, I just want to say a big thank you to a viewer, Sophie. Thank you so much. Sophie recognized this box that I had in my haul on Tuesday's video. And she said that is a George's Briard box. It is signed. You have to look very carefully. And sure enough, in gold on this gold panel, and I'll share a photo, <laughs> is a George's Briard signature. So this box that I said originally would probably go to my booth and maybe would be $15 to $20 um, will now be on eBay and Sophie sold hers for $100. So how exciting is that? Thank you so much. This is why I love doing what I do because we can all learn from each other. And I would have had no idea. Um, I, I looked over this box so carefully and thank you, Sophie. <laughs> all right, let's go shopping. As I said, this is a new to me Goodwill. It is in Wadsworth, Ohio, which is only about a half an hour away. And we decided to go down this direction, um, actually to pick up some stuff from an estate clean out, but we ended up here and I'm so glad we did. Look at this first find. This is a nice, large, beautifully painted paint by number, $5 in a great frame check this out look at the colors on this piece it has such a cool light and bright kind of 50s 60s feel to it and I absolutely love it how awesome is this this is a paint by number which everybody's on the lookout for it has to be a 50s or 60s paint by number just because of the characters in it. I think that they're quite old. The frame has some nice age. The frame has a little bit of damage, but I'm gonna show you real quick how I can fix that. And just take a look at this piece. My ring light's doing a little bit of weirdness, but you see those characters? Here's what the back looks like. It's really nicely framed. Look at the brackets. It's great. <laughs> this was like the first find and I was like thrilled. I paid $5 for this and I have seen similar size, similar scenery. So like a landscape, older landscape scenery sell for over $100. So this is an amazing first find. Let me show you real quick how I repair some of these things. Super easy. What you do is you get yourself a pack of these furniture touch-up markers. My One of my local Goodwills sells these right near the cash register, which is super convenient. And when you find a scratch, like see this edge, you find the color that matches closest and you simply Touch it up. See how easy that was? Just disappears, simple like that. Looking back down on this rack, I saw this adorable original piece. I did take my loop out and check it out and sure enough, it is original. It is artist signed and nicely framed. So this came with me too. How cool is this piece? Obviously, it's the Great Lakes. It's done by an artist named G-O-T-T. I can't find any information about this artist, so if anybody out there knows, I would love to know. It is an original. It's done with watercolor, the blue. The black looks like it might be ink. And then these, the lakes were all given different characters, which is so cute. Although, I don't know why Lake Michigan is so sad. Maybe because he doesn't live in, in Ohio. 
<laughs> Here's Lake Erie. That's where we live close to. But very cool piece. I paid $5. I, like I said, have no information. Don't even have a date on this. I took it all apart to clean the glass and just, there's nothing, there's no information. So I'm excited to have it and I will probably hang it over at the booth maybe. I feel like somebody in Northeast Ohio or, you know, near the lake would appreciate it as much as I do. I'm still in this same art area and I see this metal piece here with these old graphics and how neat is this i'll tell you what to like start in that area with all the art and to find those two pieces right away and then to find this sitting in that same i was like this place rocks <laughs> if this is the start of my journey i'm happy already this is a great piece i could tell by the graphics here it's a 50s or 60s piece it's an aluminum kitchen hanging piece where you can put your letters. It used to have some labeling here and you can read still. It says letters and memos and I'm not sure what this says. It begins with an M. I don't know if it's mail, like outgoing mail or what, but look at those kitchen graphics are so cute. Because of the size of this, it's rather large. I will probably sell this locally or put it at the booth. Um, it would look really cute in my kitchen, but I'm not doing it. I'm selling it. I was able to straighten out the hooks here, which are perfect for some keys. It's just a really cute piece. And for $2, I mean, quite a steal. Over in the furniture area, I saw this amazing old Kirby that I just had to share with you. Now, the bag stands up. I'm not sure if it was just unattached or what but they had a price tag of I believe $37.50 on this but the coolest part of it was look at all of these original accessories still in the box not only this box but underneath here look at all of this I'm guessing this is probably two to three hundred dollars worth of Kirby but not something I was comfortable getting now we're over in the wood area and I find this handmade box it was a little wonky and I put that aside and then I started to see some pottery pieces up here this was cute but I think this was like a big lots piece I like the frogs on it I did not like the price tag but I find over here oh that was a nice little piece but it turned out to be modern it had a nice old look to it but they fooled me but this piece right here, now this, this is pretty amazing. And I had to check it out just to make sure there wasn't anything wrong with it because it was half off. This is awesome. <laughs> I love this. This to me is so artsy and so unique. And one of the best things, most amazing things was it was still on the shelf and it was uh, half off. So I paid $2.50 for it, and that's amazing. I don't know how it was still on the shelf. It has this great kind of stoneware look to it. It has a treatment where you can see these like cracks and fissures in the clay, which just makes it so, have such character. And then this glazed section, this matte black glazed section that is like asymmetrical off center and you can see inside it's fully glazed, so it's perfect for holding water and, you know, plants. Um, this would just be an amazing centerpiece. It's a studio art piece. It is marked, it's stamped with a, I want to say PV or PY. I'll probably reach out to my Facebook groups and see if anybody in the studio pottery groups has seen this mark or knows anything about this. But this would be a hard piece to part with. <laughs> I will, though. I will part with it. It's just absolutely stunning. I also want to share this piece that I found. This is a very cool primitive clay, um, what's called an ocarina. Now, I apologize. I'm, I was really thrilled to find this, so my camera skills here are not very good. But you will see the whole piece in a second. Here it is. It is a whistle. So all those holes that are across the front... Um, actually make sound and this is a nice primitive one and I was so heartbroken because it was busted up somebody had glued it back together 
Um, and I seriously considered buying it even in this condition, but I left it for someone else. Ah, oh, I loved that piece. This was kind of neat too. It was a big tile, very colorful, but you can see there it was like a clock and it just needed the mechanisms, you know, added to it. It was interesting. The original price tag on it though was like $10, so it wasn't a, you know, a big deal, but nice. And then I'm looking around and I spied this guy back here. I almost missed him. So neat. Made in England. Not any other marks on him, but look at this piece. Such a great tin. Look at this. Look at the colors on this. So cute. And this little wooden knob here. I love it. It is a Made in England piece. I have had really good luck selling tins on eBay. So I will be putting this on eBay. And I'm sure it'll do well. I will, of course, include some comps if I've found any. Um, below, but I'm excited to list this one. As we were shopping in this aisle, they were setting up this end cap, and I looked over and I saw this little bunny. And he's so sweet. I said, Mom, did you see this little bunny? <laughs> he's only $3. Look at him. I had to set him down and check him out. And I just love that he's a box. Very cool. How great is this guy? He is a box where his ears come off, <laughs> which is pretty wonderful. He's lovely. He's painted really nice. He has no markings on him whatsoever. I think possibly made in China, just based on some other things that I've seen. But he's so cute. I have been watching another one that looks just like him on eBay. I believe they had it priced at $29.99 and they sent me an offer for $24.99. <laughs> so I, oh man, I have so many things listed that I have watchers on and I'm like, I know you all are resellers. <laughs> Watch my stuff, see what I get for it. But it's funny when it happens like that. This is a cool find. Right before we were about to leave, they rolled out a cart and we ran to the cart to find out what was on it. I pulled several things and I kept two things that I want to share with you. One is this really cool recipe rack. Again, it's likely 60s, possibly 70s. Um, it's so neat because the cards are blank. So you could totally transfer, you know, your grandma's recipes onto some of these cards. And then you just pull the whole thing out because you can open it up and it's right there you know, able for you to read it on the countertop. But the graphic here is really neat. It's just like a decal sticker. The construction's really nice. And I paid $2 for it, so that was a great deal. I think it would be so cute, even just left out on your countertop if you have a vintage kitchen. It'd be really cute just to leave it out. But I totally want to transfer grandma's recipes into here. And the other thing that we grabbed is this little cabinet that has all of these little transportation pieces on it. And look at how great they are. Such cute detail. It's just a little storage box, it has a shelf in here. The blue is great. There are some areas where I think it's intentional that it was like roughed up, but also this looks like a chip. And I can probably fix that. I don't know if I need to just because, you know, it's meant to look like it's a little beat up, but look at how great that is. I paid $3 for it. So that was a nice little find and it was sold at TJ Maxx for $14.99. Now that does not deter me from listing something like this at a much higher price because who knows where it came from and how it got to TJ Maxx, but it says hand painted. It says Anister Gifts. So that's kind of where I'm gonna go first is what was Anister Gifts and is anybody else selling this and what is it comping for, um, you know, as far as resale? 
I'm gonna guess it's gonna go for more than $14.99, but even if it did, I paid $3, so I'm okay with that. And it's wood, and it's a decent size and easy to ship. So I will definitely list this one on eBay. This was not the only place that mom and I hit on this particular day. In fact, we spent a couple of days the weekend that she was here shopping. And I just want to share two things that we found at a thrift shop that I've only stopped at one time before. They don't have a lot of hard goods. They have a lot of clothes. It's mostly clothes, but they do have a little small section of hard goods. And I do find some vintage things there. And we picked up two things that I want to share with you. One is this beautiful wooden cheese tray it is a woodbury woodware from shelburne vermont and then there's this cute little tag here it says wood has always played an important part in the development of fine arts and the material used for this beautiful woodware is selected from the finest wood grain in vermont the hand finished hand the hand polished finish is guaranteed washable and may be placed in the refrigerator but look at this. This beautiful piece is, is put into this hand-turned piece of wood. This is gorgeous. This wood is gorgeous. And I can just imagine your cheeses here with the little crackers all the way around. It's a nice piece, and I want to say based on just this information here and the way it looks, it's probably from maybe late 60s, 70s. I'm going to guess 70s, um, but it's so pretty. And I did not pay $2.99 for it. All of the white tags were half off. So I paid $1.50 for this, which was a great, great deal. Speaking of great deals, look at this cake plate. Oh my gosh. It is gorgeous. It has this beautiful base that almost looks like candle wick, right? And then it has this amazing, all the design is kind of underneath, but they're like amber centered daisies with these gorgeous handles on the side and I paid half of $3.99. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I will be stopping at this store much more. I'm not sure where she gets her things but these two made my day. <laughs> and I will of course share that information. It is right down the street on 91 and if you're looking for clothes, it's the place to go. All right, everybody, that concludes tonight's thrifting adventure. I'm so glad you came along. I really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to click the like button, leave me a comment. Did you enter to win the bird and the baby salt and pepper shakers? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the link I will share above to Tuesday's video and make sure that you see where they came from and get entered to win them. That's it. Share my videos so that we can build our community. And oh yeah, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Thanks everybody. Take care. Bye.